Not surprisingly, many people are getting ready to hit the road for camping trips and similar vacations these days. Not surprisingly, because despite our nice spring weather this year, the camping season in our area is short, very short. This year marks a big anniversary for the recreational vehicle industry. It's the 100th anniversary of the RV. The first towable RVs were mass produced in 1910, not so very long after the invention of the automobile itself. Known as camping trailers then, they were the forerunners to today's RVs. And they weren't as comfortable by any means. But they still got people sleeping off the ground and let them enjoy their own home cooking while camping. Most importantly, perhaps, they were allowing Americans to see their own country up close in a time really before the age of the roadside motel. That was then. This is now. Dave Peterson showed us one of their biggest and baddest RVs on the Leisureland RV lot in East Grand Forks. This model arrived just hours before we did. For some time, camping these days has involved not just air conditioning and microwave ovens, but now also big screen TVs, surround sound, and, if you wish, a dish. And in units like this one, a fireplace and ceilings high enough for ceiling fans. Now everything is like you see what you got now. I mean, it's just a lot more, more uh, upscale. They put a lot of niceties into it, the stuff that... You know, you think when you go camping, you just pop your tent in there and no TVs, no <laughs> no air conditioners. And no this, ceiling fans. No ceiling fans, and now it's gotten to that point where it's just, just as comfortable camping as it is staying at home. Not exactly what you'd call roughing it.